Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I just wanted to show off something cool. I know we've covered it before, but I just thought you guys would uh, enjoy seeing it. So this is the uh, Ducky Shine 5, as you all know. We did a review on it a little while back. I give it a very good review. Uh, I really uh, liked it. I wasn't... Um, you know, disappointed at all with it. Maybe, maybe I was a little bit because it wasn't a huge change from the uh, Ducky Shine 4, but hey, it was great. Uh, but the difference between this and the ones I tested in the review a while back is this one has the Cherry MX Blue, which is my favorite switch. So um, these are actually quite uh, hard to get, actually. They're quite uncommon. So if you can find one and you are a fan of the Cherry MX Blue Switch, then uh, definitely check it out because this is a really, really nice keyboard, guys. So uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, I also wanted to just give you guys a quick channel update about what's been uh, going on with me and everything else uh, going forward. Because as you guys know, I like to be extremely transparent with my audience, unlike many other tech reviewers out there which do a lot of things um, and work with a lot of people for certain amounts of money uh, without telling the fans and then, you know, giving them the wrong sort of idea about certain products. So um, full disclosure wise, well, as much as I can disclose without getting in trouble, because of course there's always confidentiality clauses and stuff, um, I uh, will be working with certain companies, tech companies going forward. This is just sort of progression, natural progression with uh, doing a tech YouTube channel. Of course, I've been working with playtech.co.nz for a very uh, long time now. And um, my standard agreement, which I've had with uh, Playtech, uh, also has um, been applied to every other company I work with and will be applied uh, going forward as well, which means um, no money in exchange for reviews ever, ever, ever will that ever happen. So that that's not um, ever gonna happen. So don't worry about that. Also, I tell them straight up that um, I'm not going to you know, alter uh, what I say, I'm always going to be completely honest. You can never tell me what I'm going to say or give me a script or say, tell, you know, speak about these points or anything like that. That'll never fly with me. Um, some companies have been uh, less than thrilled about this part of how I do the channel, but it is how it is. And I'm looking out for you guys, the consumers, because I always want to give you the honest, no spin advice and um, review on the products that I cover so that you can always make the most informed decision when it comes to buying tech products. Um, so yeah, I basically just say, hey, I'm gonna give it my honest opinion. Uh, even if you send me this product, don't expect me to give a good um, review of it. If I hate it, I'll tell people I hate it and I'll tell people not to buy it. And that's just um, how it works with me. So basically, you know, you either agree with that or we don't work together. Um, and, and it seems to have been, you know, fairly well received for the most part, depending on who I'm working with. So uh, this is just full disclosure going forward. When I'm actually doing a video with a certain company, as always, I'll uh, tell you guys at the start of the video and um, let you guys know. But, you know, again, that's just for transparency's sake. And of course, I'm not bought out. I can never be bought out. Take it from me. People have tried doesn't work um maybe for you know we, we all know who are and who who is and who isn't within the tech community but you can rest assured that it's not going to be me uh so that's really good but um yeah it, it just means it's going to allow more opportunities i'll be able to make a uh, better content going forward cover products quicker and obviously have some things for when they launch and that going forward and also um if things work out well with working with uh, different companies going forward they'll be able to uh, then fly me out to cover different events um, um, overseas so that would be really really good as well but I just wanted to give you guys an update there uh, to make sure uh, that, that you're all up to speed on that and, and knew what was going on I wish I could give you guys more of the details I wish I could actually show you what the what I told them you know what I tell them and what my agreements are that I sent them but it would be uh, very unprofessional to do that and it could be a uh, very compromising for me from a legal point of view to do that so um, uh, please sort of understand that but you know how many tech youtubers out there would even make a video like this and talk about this product many of them don't many of them don't want their fans to know who they're working with or what kind of deals they're signing or what kind of agreements they make and it all happens behind closed doors and then you guys the consumers and the fans out there the viewers are the ones that end up being screwed when they tell you a product's great 
when it's actually rubbish and then you go out and buy it so um yeah just a bit of an update there just to uh, let you guys know and as always i'm um, working with better companies i always try to um get giveaways and get products that i can um give away to you guys because i like rewarding you guys for being fans of the channel also now I thank you all for watching this video, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video and as always I'll see you guys next time.